So a few more things that we're going to need in our virtual machine we talked about in the last video that uh, you know kind of depends on, on what you're going to build and whatnot. Uh, you can get those tools. But uh, a couple of uh, generic things that we're probably going to need is if we sudo su jump back in as the root user, um, we might notice that if we need our Android uh, tools like Fastboot um, and ADB and those sort of things. If we do aptitude search Android, it's going to go ahead and bring up uh, quite a few things for us. And we notice particularly there's going to be an Android tools section. So actually, I'm going to do this again with the Android tools to give us a a shorter list here. So what we need is to apt get install and we're going to grab these Android tools. Android tools ADB Android tools fastboot and you notice I can just add them in the line here. Don't have to comma separate them or anything like that. Just a space between them. But these tools are incredibly handy to have when you're building Android. And so we say we want those tools, we hit enter. It's going to ask us, do you want to install them? We say yes. And it's going to go ahead and go through the process of fetching those and installing them and, and putting them on our machine. Very useful thing to have. And while we're waiting for that, we're also going to go back to our Android open source project and look at the bin repo tool. That allows us to download those repositories that we wanted. Android open source project, establish a build environment. And actually, in this case, we really want to go to downloading the source. And it's going to say how to install repo right here, right on the front. So good, our tools are done there. Now this we want to do as a regular user because we want our regular user to be able to do uh, the repo tool. So we're going to make a directory called bin. And now we can see that directory exists. It's called bin right here. And we're going to add that bin to our path. So when we try to execute something, it's going to do run the command from the bin as well. And then we're going to download the repo tool, and we're going to put it into bin repo. So this uh, greater than symbol is actually saying this thing that we download from curl, download that and put it into this bin repo. And I know I've explained this in some of my previous videos, so if you're watching along, I, I apologize if that seems a little basic, but also just trying to help out those that might be starting for the first time. And then we're going to chmod or change modify, and it's this A plus X bin repo. Before we do that, let's take a look. ls lah in bin. And what do we see? We see we have this repo tool, and it is RWRR. Doesn't make a lot of sense right now. Let's run this command. We'll take another look at it. We'll see what changed, and we'll uh, talk about what that means. So we chmod A plus X, that bin repo, and now let's look at it again. Notice first off that it turned green. The reason it turned green is now it has this X, 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 X added to the list that allows it to be executed. So um, what we've done is A plus X allows um, everybody to read it and execute it, to actually execute it like it is a program, a command. So you have this read, write, blank, read, blank, blank, read, blank, blank, and this one has read, write, execute, read, blank, execute, read blank execute and this is a little bit complicated if you're not familiar with Linux but the first set uh, there's going to be the owner the group and then everyone else and so uh, um, 
just different uh, permissions that you can apply to a file. And so pretty handy thing uh, that's uh, a little bit odd maybe for you if you're a Windows user, but it's important that a file is given the right permissions so you can actually use it. So now that we've got that repo tool and now that we've downloaded our ADB and our Fastboot and our other Android tools, now our system is pretty well set for us to be able to go through, pick a ROM that we want to build, download that source, and start building, which I have a lot of videos on how to do that. Please be sure to check those out. Um, this was just kind of showing how we set up our 18.04 to get it ready for building, and uh, hopefully that was a help to you.